What's going on everyone? So today we're talking about wardrobe foundation pieces. So first off, let's define what I mean by foundation pieces. So these are the items of clothing that serve as the building blocks of really any man's wardrobe. They're versatile, timeless, and can be mixed and matched with other pieces to create a variety of different looks. And really quick, my name's John, and the whole premise around this channel is to help prove that you're never too old and it's never too late to make a change in your life or start something new, and I'm glad you're here. So why are these foundational items so important in building your wardrobe? For starters, like I mentioned, they're versatile because with just a few key pieces, you can create a variety of different outfits for different occasions. These classic and timeless pieces never go out of style, so you can invest in high quality items that will last for years. And finally, these items are the foundation upon which you can build a more unique and personalized wardrobe. Because once you have the basics down, you can start adding more statement pieces or experimenting with different colors and patterns. And here comes the disclaimer, because today's video is just my opinion. And it's also important to understand that everyone's style is different and what works for one person may not work for another. Some guys prefer more casual athleisure stuff while other guys lean more towards formal and traditional pieces. And then there's other guys that like street, surf, and western style clothes. The key is to find what works for you and then build your wardrobe around that. All right, so what are some examples of foundation pieces for men? So I like to start at the ground and then work our way up. So I'll try to move through this pretty quickly so I hope you'll stick around for everything. So let's start with dress shoes and sneakers. A good pair of dress shoes can make all the difference when it comes to looking polished and put together. Look for shoes in classic styles like Oxfords, Derbies, and loafers in neutral colors like black or brown. Now brown is gonna be the most versatile color and black should be reserved for the more dressed up and formal occasions. Now with sneakers, it's my opinion that every man needs a comfortable pair of sneakers for casual wear. Look for a simple classic style in a neutral color that can be worn with a variety of different outfits. My favorite sneaker choice is all white, but I know some guys get freaked out by white shoes thinking that they get dirty too easily. But from experience, it's not even that big of a deal. After a few times out, just wipe them down and they're pretty much good to go. Now, if you like the white shoe look, but don't wanna maintain all the scuff marks on the sides, try a white sneaker with a gum sole. Now, a few other color options would be brown and black, but try to pick both with a white sole. All right, next we have socks. And personally, I'm all about no-show socks in the spring and summer when it gets hot out. But I get comments on my photos and videos all the time from people asking, like, how can I stand to wear shoes without socks? But I'm here to tell you that 99.9% .9 of the time, when it looks like I'm not wearing socks, I am. I just wear the no-show style because I think it looks better than seeing those funny ankle socks sticking out of the top of my shoes, especially when it's warm out and I'm wearing shorts. Okay, this brings us to full length socks. And it's always a good idea to have a few different colors, right? Black, blue, brown, and a few shades of gray will pretty much get you through just about anything. And really quick, because I get asked this question a lot, match the color of your socks as closely as possible to the color of your pants. And truth be told, practically all of my full length socks at this point that I wear on a regular basis are from the company Straight Up Socks. And they were nice enough to sponsor today's video. So I've talked about these socks before in other videos because personally, I hate the look of sagging socks. But what I hate even more is the feeling of loose sagging socks. So Straight Up Socks uses proprietary silicone strips to keep your socks looking good and staying in place all day long so you don't have to constantly reach down and tug at your socks. And the small profile of the little silicone strips keeps the sock in place instead of relying on extra tightness that gets too uncomfortable. These are made with moisture wicking, Pima cotton for lasting comfort and a nice smooth appearance that resists pilling. They've got a reciprocated heel for a superior fit, smooth toe seams that reduce abrasion and reinforce heels and toes for much longer wear. They offer free shipping within the US. So gentlemen, hit the link down below in the description and go check these out today. You'll be so glad you did. 
Okay, the next foundation item is chinos. So chinos, sometimes known as khakis, are a great alternative to jeans when you might wanna look a little more put together. They're comfortable, they're incredibly versatile, and they come in a ton of different colors and cuts. Look for a tailored fit, right, that flatters your body type, and avoid anything overly tight or overly baggy, and also make sure the length isn't too long where the pant leg puddles up down at your feet. Okay, then we have jeans. Every man should own a few pairs of jeans that fit really well. Something in a medium wash and something in a dark wash. Now the dark wash pair is gonna be your good pair because those can be dressed up with a sports jacket and a nice pair of shoes or dressed down with a t-shirt and sneakers. Now the medium wash pair, that's gonna be your more casual pair. Find something though with good quality that fits well and you'll have them for years. Now, I just mentioned quality. And one thing to keep in mind when building a wardrobe is to focus on quality over quantity. It's better to have a few high quality pieces that fit well and flatter you than a closet full of cheap stuff that doesn't fit well and that you never wear. Invest in pieces that will last and that you'll feel good wearing. Because no matter how expensive or high quality a piece of clothing is, if it doesn't fit well, it just won't look good. Take the time to find clothes that fit your body type and have them tailored if necessary. A well-fitting wardrobe can make all the difference when it comes to looking sharp and put together. Now, speaking of well-fitting, dress shirts are the next foundation item on this list. Every man should own a few dress shirts in classic colors like white and blue. Now, these can be worn dressed up with a suit or a blazer, or of course, dressed down with chinos or jeans. Look for shirts with a tailored fit and a collar that can be worn with or without a tie. Okay, coming in next are t-shirts. Now, even though I'm not really a t-shirt guy, I still understand the importance of the good old t-shirt. I think we should all own a few simple, well-fitting t-shirts in neutral colors like white, black, and gray. Of course, they're great for layering under a sweater or just wearing on their own with jeans or chinos. But once again, focus on fit and quality. The next foundation piece is a tailored sports jacket. So this is a more versatile and casual alternative to a suit jacket. It can be dressed up with dress pants or dressed down with jeans. I would say a gray or navy sports jacket with some texture is a really good choice because that can be worn with a variety of different colors and patterns. Okay, this next item might be considered optional for some guys, but it's a well-fitting suit. Whether or not you need one for work, I think every guy should have at least one good suit in his wardrobe. A classic dark color suit like navy blue or charcoal gray, that can be worn to weddings, job interviews, and formal events. But if it's your only suit, I would stay away from black. In my opinion, black would be like your third suit because that's way too formal for most events. Charcoal gray works just as well as black in most situations. Full disclosure, I own six suits, and none of them are black. I mean, think about it. As a grown man, there's probably at least two or three occasions per year where a suit is the appropriate choice. Whether it's a holiday party, a work function, a funeral, or a wedding, a good suit is an investment piece that will last you for years. So it's worth spending a little bit of money on a high quality suit that fits you well, even though you might only wear it a few times a year. And finally, don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Building a wardrobe is an ongoing process and your style might change over time. I know mine has. So don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and try new colors and patterns or even styles because you might be surprised at what you end up liking. And with all this in mind, I hope you can build a wardrobe that reflects your personal style and makes you feel confident and put together. And just one last thing, if you made it this far, you are definitely one of the true legends. Please subscribe if you're not already. And if you missed this video that I made showing a bunch of different ways to style a pair of jeans, check it out right here. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.